G'day folks, Uncle Knackers here from DIY Wife of Knuckleheads and in today's video I'm going to show you how to make this awesome little scrap wood cactus planter for under five bucks. It's a great gift idea as well as being easy, quick and cheap. Just how I like it. So come on, get out in the shed, put on your nail bag and let's make it. <coughs> right out. Here we go. There's two balloons flying across the desert and one balloon says to the other, "Hey mate, look out for the cactus." And the other balloon says, "What cactus?" <laughs> Get it? The balloon, the, the cactus prickly, balloon soft and pop. Okay. Alrighty. Tough crowd. How about this one? What did the cactus say to his wife? Aloe vera. Not too bad. And a quick one, one for the kitties. Why did the cactus cross the road? Anyone? No? Nah? All stuck to the chicken. <laughs> and that, my friends, is Dad Jokes 101 with Uncle Knackers. Alrighty, on with the project. So, as you've probably already guessed, today's scrap wood project involves cactus and a pretty cool little cactus planter. And like my last scrap wood project, which I'll link to up there somewhere, make sure you check it out. It'll be a limited tools project and hopefully will come in under that magical five smackaroony mark. Alrighty. Oh yeah, one more quick thing. If you want to see more scrap woody type, rusticy type projects, make sure you hit that subscribe button and make sure you click that notification bell. That way you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. Good stuff. Now this is the piece of scrap wood that I'll be using for the project. It's an off cut of an old veranda post that I had lying around the house. So total cost, zero. You gotta love that. And what I want from this is a section of timber cutout, which would be 65 millimeters deep, which is the total cutting depth of a seven and a quarter inch circular saw, and cut it to a width of 90 millimeters. So overall, our cactus planter is going to be 65 millimeters high by 90 millimeters wide. Now because my circular saw only cuts to a depth of 65 millimeters, to cut right through the block, I need to turn it over and cut it from both sides. With that first cut now out of the way, and after having a good hard look at it, I've had a change of heart. I actually like the height of the cactus planter now to be 90 millimeters, which was originally going to be the top of the cactus planter. So I'll keep the height at 90, and the top will be cut to a width of 100 millimeters, which for you imperial folk is four inches. There's nothing wrong with changing your mind. I'm only human. And once again, I need to turn the block over and attack it from both sides so that I can cut through the entire depth of that block. And after all that, here is our finished piece of wood. Now, if you can find a piece that doesn't need all that work done to it in the first place, happy days. Now, you can see on the end there, I've marked a 45 degree angle. If you can come up about 30 millimeters, which is about an inch and a quarter. Set your circular saw to 45 degrees and we'll cut that angle down the entire length. Too easy. Let's do it. Not happy people, not happy at all. 
I've cut too much of an angle on this piece of timber because now it's become a bit too unstable. Ugh, hate that. Luckily, I've got a spare piece. Back in a sec. Well, that was lucky. This time I went up 25 millimeters and then cut the 45. And as you can see, it's way more stable. Luckily, I had this spare piece. Disaster averted. Onwards and upwards. Let's go. Now, next up on the agenda is we need to cut our cactus planter to length. And the first step to doing that is to set our miter saw or our drop saw to 15 degrees, which is just simply a matter of loosening the locking mechanism on the back of the saw and then rotate the saw around until that red pointer lines up to that 15 degree mark. Then just simply re-tighten the locking mechanism and you're ready to rock and roll. Too easy. And just before you start cutting, make sure that that 45 degree angle is on the base of the miter saw. And if you can, I'd highly advise clamping the piece to the miter saw, because once you start cutting, that piece will start to wander. And it's also a lot safer. Alrighty, let's turn the piece around. And what we need to do now is from that short point, of that fresh new cut, measure along 340 millimeters, which is this mark here. And as you can see, that's a bee's little toe under 13 and a half inches. Clamp the wood in place like before, and then cut that 15 degree angle. And after all that, this is what we finish up with. This is the face of the cactus planter, and this is the top. And before we do anything else, we need to drill the holes for the actual cactus plants. And for that, I'm using one of these fancy bits. It's called a force in the bit. And if you want to find out more about these or where to pick one up from, I'll leave a link to it in the description box down below. Now, if you haven't got one of these, you may have one of these hole saws in your toolkit. It's used for drilling out door handles. Drill into the wood down to the desired depth and then you'll just need to simply chisel that wood out. Not quite as neat and a bit more time consuming, but it'll do the job. Alrighty, let's mark this out and drill those holes. Now the back's a little bland on the cactus planter, so I'm just going to try an image transfer and I'll link to how I do this in the description box down below, so make sure you check it out. So carefully lay it on the wood and then just rub that image on. Sometimes this works, sometimes it doesn't. Hopefully this time it does. Just be very careful not to move the paper. There you go, that's not too bad. One more to go. And we'll finish it off with a picture of a cactus about here somewhere. No rhyme or reason. It's supposed to look a bit rough and ready. Like I said, I'll link to how I do this in the description box down below, so make sure you check that out. Okay. Let's have a look at that. That's not too bad. It'll do the job. And now with that saw still set on 15 degrees, I'm going to cut this into three nice little bite-sized chunks. Now this last piece can be a bit tricky to cut because it is so small and you can't clamp it down like you normally would. 
as that blade comes down, your fingers are going to be pretty close to that blade and no one wants to lose any fingers. So to help this situation out, grab yourself a piece of timber, place it on the side of that one, and then grab that first piece that you've already cut, slide it in between the base of the saw and that timber, and then just simply tighten it up. And what that does is it presses this against that, makes that very secure, which means you'll be going home with all your fingies. And here it is folks, three separate geometric cactus planters. And I reckon it looks absolutely fantastic. And to finish it off, all it needs is a quick sand, a lick of paint, and then plant. Too easy. Hang in there folks, only one more step to go and that's to give these a couple of coats with some sort of finish. Now, I'll just step around here. Personally, I'm just using this exterior grade wood varnish in a satin finish. It's marine grade and it's just something that I've found floating around in the shed. Because like I said, these are cheap projects, so don't go out buying stuff unnecessarily. But I'm also sure that a polyurethane of some description would do the job. And just remember that when doing these, you need to give the inside of that hole a really good couple of coats because that needs to be waterproof and you may have noticed that I didn't drill a hole through the bottom for drainage and that's because these will be sitting inside on my brand new bench and I don't want water dripping all over them and I also don't want these to be sitting inside some sort of tray but the good news is is that these are cactus and cactus require little water so I think we should be okay. Alrighty let's do it. Now these are looking absolutely fantastic and it's amazing how only after one coat of that varnish those colours really pop out. And what we'll do next is I'll let this dry, come back, give it another hit with that varnish, come back again and we'll plant that cactus. You little ripper. See you then. Alrighty, these are now nice and dry and it's time to plant that cactus. But one more quick thing is that after that varnish dried, I then grabbed myself some exterior grade PVA wood glue and place that or rub that on the inside of those holes, left that to dry. Now, hopefully these are totally waterproof. Fingers crossed. All right, let's plant this cactus. These are really spiky. Just be a bit careful. So that's the cactus planted and to make it a little snazzier, just to finish it off, I have these pretty cool looking black stones. So We'll just drop those in around the top and that'll finish it right off. And there she is folks, another scrap wood project all done and dusted. And just between you, me and the fence post, I reckon this turned out absolutely fantastic. And I'd love to know your thoughts in the comments section down below. Well, I hope you enjoyed and found that video useful. And as per usual, a big thumbs up is always greatly appreciated. 
Make sure you hit that subscribe button for more handy tips. And if you want to see more scrap wood type projects, make sure you click on my playlist, which should be up there somewhere. So make sure you check that one out. All right, this has been fun. Thanks for watching. I think it's time for a cup of tea. So till next time, be safe and I'm out of here. Cheers.